Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. In this episode we're carrying on with the Ham International Jumbo and today we're going to be having a look at the VCO feed point voltage modification and we're going to be putting the Roger beep onto a switch. So let's get started. So we're on the underside of the radio again and we're going to be having a look at the VCO feed point, the voltage feed point. Now this modification was inspired by a modification that come to me in one of my Ham International Concords, which actually uses a voltage regulator. Well, let's have a look anyway. So at the moment we have 5.3 volts feeding the VCO. Now this has already had a part VCO uh, feed point modification, but it turns out we don't need that anyway. So we'll start off by taking away the 10 microfarad capacitor. And desoldering the wire link that had actually fitted in a previous video. Now I didn't realise at the time that I didn't need to unsolder that VCO connection. So we're going to solder it back up as the pad it's linked to is not connected to anything anyway. So that will do just nicely for our modification. So we'll just check we've got no voltage. Sure enough, we've isolated the VCO feed. So what we're going to be using, this is, is a 78L05, which is a five volt regulator, which should provide a nice stable voltage to the VCO and the modification on my Concorde shows it as having a 10k resistor. Now I have actually voltage measured, voltage measured this on my Concorde and the voltage drop across the resistor is practically nothing. So I think it's just there for protection. So we'll solder that into place. We've soldered the center leg of the regulator into place, which is the negative. Now we're going to do this slightly different than what's on the Concorde as the Concorde is being fed from 13.8 volts. We're going to feed this from the nine volt side of the AVR. But first we'll put back the 10 microfarad capacitor, which is also in the Concorde bonification. And that should do just nicely. So I'm hoping with this modification we get a nice stable voltage into the VCO. Well it should be because these voltage regulators don't really drift. So capacitors firmly into place. Now we'll find which point we're going to solder to. So that was the base, that's the supply, and there's the output of our AVI, which is 9.2 volts, and we're going to feed off that. I don't think it makes much difference feeding it from 13 volts, but we're going to do it this way anyway. So there it is, connected up, and that's it for that modification. So we'll just do a voltage check. On the input of the VCO and there's our 5 volts nice and stable so if there's any voltage fluctuations on the board this shouldn't matter now unless the voltage drops to a couple of volts above which I don't think it will and a quick test on transmit and we are working I know we're off frequency, but we're not aligned it yet. But it's working, so that's that complete. So just check on receive. Got 
got some Europeans coming in so everything's looking good on that so anyway the Roger beep so first off we need to connect a blue wire to the actual blue wire on the beep board so we've done that underneath I want to feed that through to the underside of the board screw it back in and they're nice and neat now this the NB switch has already been cut from its old EEPROM which switched channel 19 on this switch so we'll just check which side's on and which side's off now the next part of the modification will be the wire on the back of the microphone socket which is the purple wire so I was going to desolder it but then I thought hang on this wire's long enough we can just cut it and just attach it to the back of the circuit board so that's what we'll do so this should switch our bleep and remove any delay as well so with the help of some pliers we're connecting the centre should we say the purple wire from the microphone socket to the centre of the switch the purple wire goes to the on side and the blue wire goes to the off side and that should be our beep switched nice and simple we're having that on the NB switch so I'm going to remove the N from the front fascia and it'll just leave the B, B for beep so we'll just test it there's our beep and no beep and there we have it so that's it for this short video on a couple more modifications to this ham international jumbo so stay tuned for the next part in the series where we carry on with the modifications and we're going to add some more bands to this radio so as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode